sleepy villagers, innocent-looking locals, picture postcard scenery. This quintessentially English idyll has long been the backdrop for something much more sinister. My sister lived in Badger's Drift, Iris Rainbird, and my dear nephew Dennis. They were murdered nine years ago. Since 1997, numerous real villagers have provided the locations for the fictional English county of Midsummer. Creating this area from real locations in Buckinghamshire, Oxfordshire and Berkshire has allowed the programme makers to mix and match various buildings and settings to create the perfect villagers for murder. <laughs> Look! Jane Wymark has played DCI Barnaby's long-suffering wife, Joyce, since the series began. It was 14 years altogether that I've been filming Midsummer, so that's an awful lot of memories. But we've revisited a number of villages. This one in particular, the Lee, has been used a number of times, so it, it just becomes like home, really. As far as I know, Midsummer Flory is a haven of tranquility. Filming on location in the villages that make up the fictional world of Midsummer is always such a pleasure because you get to spend your time in such wonderful surroundings like this village, the Lee in Buckinghamshire, where I am today. Now then, lovely people, this is our last day in gorgeous Midsummer Flory, so let's make the most of it. And this location is particularly memorable for me. My character Joyce discovered the body of Ruth Fairfax in an art class just about here, I think. There's a huge team who work behind the scenes to bring Midsummer Murders to life, and I'm about to meet Brian Trume, who's the executive producer. Come with me. To Brian, why did you choose this area to film a series? The reason I chose this is because, A, um, I do live in this area and I know <laughs> it very well, uh, B, that I filmed a couple of Mary Wesley films here, and I realised after we'd completed them that the countryside was so beautiful and lent itself particularly well for this Caroline Graham book called The Killings of Badger's Drift, which um, wanted roses round the doors, eccentric villagers sticking their heads out of windows, spotting to see what sort of intrigue was going on in the village community. Would you say she was a suicide risk? The thought never crossed my mind. Another village that's used a lot is Little Missenden, and in particular, the Church of St John the Baptist. I can remember we had Mark Gatiss uh, who was appearing in the episode Sword of Guillaume. Mark was playing a, a vicar who was having a crisis of faith. Uh, he appears in our church um, berating and haranguing God looking for a sign. You didn't create us. We created you! They, they were just setting up. I had to go off to a meeting so I couldn't be here throughout the whole shoot. Um, but I saw them carry in a stunt altar um, and uh, then uh, to boot we had a Pinewood Studios fire truck parked on the pavement right outside and two burly firemen uh, all geared up for any eventuality. And I was just praying, please don't set light to my 1,035 year old grade one listed church. My character Joyce is always badgering Tom to move out of the fictional town of Corston into one of the pretty midsummer villages. And certainly a lot of the locations we use are chocolate box perfect. But given the very high crime rate around here, maybe he's right to exercise some caution. 